What your watch says about you is not what you might be thinking. Whether you're a regular guy or a celebrity, don't always think that just because it's really expensive, it means it's nice. Number one is gonna be the Frank Mueller Invisible Set Round Tourbillon. When I look at this watch, the first thing that comes to my mind is Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is the king of the tackiest, ugliest watches in the world. Although yes, he is a mega superstar in the soccer football world. In watches, not so much in my opinion. He does have the means to buy any single watch he can, but his taste, I don't know. Sometimes I think Frank Mueller is giving him these watches, almost like a sponsorship. And pretty much that's what most of this episode is going to be about. But when I see this watch, what I think is poor taste, you know, there is something about watches with diamonds that I do like. There is something with watches with a lot of diamonds that are just ugly that I don't. And these watches right here say you have more money than sense. Next up is gonna be the Rolex Sky Dweller with the meteorite dial and the factory diamonds. Now, it doesn't matter to me whether you have it on the rubber Oyster Flex or the full bracelet, which obviously is a whole nother level. But this watch here says you are serious about your ice game. I mean, a piece like this over retail, you're talking minimum half a million dollars and up for the rubber strap version. This is a watch that really makes a statement and says, I got the balls and the money. This is the type of piece that not just anybody can get. And have you ever looked at one of these closely compared to the previous watch that I just mentioned? This is something that's a lot more tasteful. Yes, has a lot of diamonds. Yes, it is very gaudy, but it's a lot more presentable and tasteful compared to a 50 millimeter tourbillon with ugly diamonds anywhere. If you have a watch like this, this really says you're a real deal, heavy duty, heavy hitter watch guy. Next, we got the Jacob & Co. Epic. Now, I am a fan of the brand. I think that some of the watches that they do are horological masterpieces in the sense that they have a lot of technology and a lot of out-of-the-box thinking. However, whenever I see somebody wearing an Epic, especially the celebrities, the first thing that I think of is they must have given them that watch. I don't know, I just kind of feel that that's a watch that whenever you see a celeb or an A-lister wear, it almost feels like Jacob gave it to them to wear. I don't know, it's just kind of what I think. I mean, even when I've seen a private walk into my place with one of those on, I also think, did they get that one for free as well? Because it just kind of feels like a watch that I do like the way it looks. And I do think that it's a pretty nice watch overall, but it's one of those watches that it's for some reason hasn't really hit in the market. There has not been that like gravitational pull towards it where people just have to buy one. So whenever I see an A-lister wearing one, I think they must have given it to him to wear. Now let's talk about the RM0703. I mean, if you have not looked at this watch, it just looks like a ladies model RM with like a candy cane interior. It's something that's very, very toyish looking. And uh, although in this line of work, you know, anybody is free to wear this watch however they want, uh, whether you're male, female, or whatnot. What I will say is, is that if you are a rapper or in some type of the hip hop industry and you're wearing one of these watches, I would recommend that either A, you switch dealers or B, start buying better drugs. Because in my opinion, I don't see how you can possibly wear one of these watches and think that it's cool. I mean, I'm just being honest here. It looks kind of ridiculous. Yes, I know at that point in the game where they've worn so many watches, you can just pretty much try whatever you want. I also think that there is a lot more models in the brand that you can try out. For example, an RM56. Why not just get that? Of course, because it's $3 million. And last, we have the Gerald Charles watches. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this watch. It's crazy to think that, yes, Gerald Charles is actually Gerald Charles Genta. And yes, he did design some of the most popular watches in the world for Patek, Omega, AP, IWC, and Bulgari, which were kind of classic hits. However, after he got past those Bulgaris, I feel like there's never really been a watch that Gerald Genta has designed that has kind of hit and caught on. I feel like they just were never really successful. 
So when, every time I see some type of an athlete or a celebrity wearing a Gerald Charles, the only thing I can think of is back to the Jacob Epic comment. It must be given to them as an influencer tool. <laughs> I just can't see how people are actually calling and buying these watches. Yes, I'm sure they're probably made very well. I'm just not really convinced with the design of it. I'm just being honest here. I feel like Genta made some of the most popular watches in the world. But yet, when he went to make a watch for himself, it never really caught on. Granted, I will say that this line is the nicest line that I've ever seen come out of him by himself. But every time I see somebody wearing one, I can't help but think, was it given to you just so you can influence? So remember, just because a watch is super expensive doesn't always mean it's gonna give the right impression of what you want. So if you like this video, like and share it. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel.